Alright, there we go. Uh, hey everyone, this is Holden Rise Weird, and I'm back, I guess, after a while. Um, so I'll just hop straight to it. Uh, I'll explain more when I get in between turns, but, um, let's see here. Where was I on? Oh yeah, right here. Or, right here. You know, let's go with the campaign. Retain the research lab for 30 turns. Okay. Let's go to the description here. Alright, let's see. Axis. Okay, so Axis Inc., the clan, has a research facility on this planet which discovers some interesting aspects of the meteor that created the giant lake Corazon. Oh, so wait, is that the lake? That forms the heart. I didn't realize it had a name. Um. Okay. Alright. We are good. Alright, so this lake, where my mouse cursor is here, the one that, you know, gives the planet its name. Okay, so... Let's see what I have here. Let's do a quick check. Always turn this on. Okay, so I can power all of this. I want that to be at full. As far as I'm aware, there are forces here and here, and I think there might be something here and these little spots, but most of it is here and here. As far as I'm aware. Okay. Alright, so I have no production. Okay. I'm just assessing what I have here, so let's turn this on. Alright, so I've got 30 turns. That won't be useful. I might get one or two attack on a couple things, but in terms of how many shots it will take to kill something, it's not going to be helpful. Mm, no, he need 50% for this even to matter. Because if you have like 40% it won't work, but 50% will give anything with two shots, one shot, and then 100% will give, you know, anything with one shot, two shots. And then anything that already had two shots will get four. Okay, so range, scan, and cost are out of the question. Speed might be helpful, actually, but I won't like, get one or two speed. But that will be more helpful than like one or two attack. So armor hits or speed is what I'm looking at here. And then when I do this video, I'll write my little guide in the description like I normally do. In case you don't remember where the gurgling sound is, that is the research center. Yep, the thing with speed though is any unit I had to wait 16 turns for it to apply. And that could take a while. Before it becomes too relevant. I feel like if I want to do it now, then I can. But otherwise, I don't think it'll be too relevant. Oh, that's a lot of ammo. Alright. Extra speed. hits, maybe? Alright, let's secure that then. 
Everything looks like it has enough speed right now, but I right, still so hits. I have scouts, but I don't have a light vehicle plant. I don't have any anti air. I feel like this could be a problem, but I do get a constructor. can get production, never mind, I lied about that, my bad. So there is production. That could be useful. I'm gonna build this twice as fast. Get this out of the way. Cause I feel like if I could use that constructor, I can transport it over here because making a shipyard is not going to be helpful you know, like a gunboat it'll not really do anything so I might need missile crawlers maybe and that could help out here actually more than I thought it would but it'd only be really for certain units so that'd be plus two I think it'd be like two also oh so maybe on the attack. I'm thinking hits would be a safer bet though. Because I could get a depot down there and a hangar and... Because there's depot and hangar up here which is nice but... If something is here or here and then also having to run units all the way back and forth every single time is not going to help with the defense. I'm just gonna build infiltrators. I'm thinking infantry, but they'd be cannon fodder at best. That wouldn't even accomplish the job of being. They'd be more like fodder, but no cannon. I think I messed that expression up. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so. Because I have all these tanks that I can. I want to wield these over immediately. Oh. Oh. Hold on. There we go. I, I hit the new lock key so I can touch the number pad for the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 uh, commands. And what I mean by that is. Um, like down here, press 1 to do this, and if I don't uh, re-enable Moonlock, it, I can't use that, so I just use keyboard keys up here. It's a minor thing, really, but... So I don't know what they have. I'm assuming it is Ayer's hand, so... You know, get ready to deal with the rocket launchers and missile crawlers. Move these tanks out. By the time the upgrade goes, it's gonna be, in my opinion, too late for my tanks to get back. So I'm gonna send most of them, well, most of them toward the air sand way, so that way I can tank more missile shots. And I know it sounds weird, but charge them if I have to. That'll be done in four turns. I'm not, I, I want to get a fighter, but I feel like I'm going to need an attack plane. More than I'm going to need the fighter. And that's mostly because... If I remember part of it right, they use mostly ground forces. I don't believe they used aircraft. So that's why I'm not 100% sure if I want to fight it right off. But I am going to build a ground attack plane. Okay, this could be an issue. I still have 24. 
so I might need to do that. Because I want to get the constructor to have raw material when I send it down, not, you know, be half full. I mean, I'll have some right here, but... I'm going to need more than that if I want to rush some construction projects. Alright, so when that's done, I'm starting that up. By that I mean the vehicle, heavy vehicle plant and also the training hall to get like an infiltrator or two. The scroll speed always feels like it's too much. Let me turn that down. There we go, that's better. Alright, I'm gonna send these scouts out to do their job. So these tanks need to hold until all my other tanks get here. Move it this way first. Let's move the tanks out. Oop. Stop it. Will I see anybody on screen immediately? Now is green over here, is blue over here? I'm not 100% sure actually who was where. I, I just know they're over here. Alright. So I need some scouts to go this way. Keep moving these tanks. Need some guys to go over there as much as possible, or quickly as possible, so and send scouts to help scout for these tanks. So I'm pretty sure blue's on the right side, and that's Ayer's hand. to know now before it gets built. So I might be able to build a couple turrets and that might help out when they get engineers out. Or even just get mobile anti-air. Okay, I don't see anything yet. Okay, so green is over here. Ayer's hands over here. It's a possibility. And I think I'll have a better chance of knowing is when I get hit by missile crawlers. Because that's Ayer's hands uh, strong suit is better missile units. And it only it might not seem a whole lot, you know, no economic advantage. Okay, something right there. It might not seem like the biggest economic advantage, you know, because all you get are missile unit upgrades. But the fact you can outrange everybody and get better gold, up, uh, cheaper gold, uh, excuse me, gold upgrades means you can do a lot of damage with it. Like you saw it. Um, I stuck in the middle video. Because dealing with Ayer's hand can feel a bit difficult sometimes. To say the least. Because sometimes with Ayer's hand, it feels like you're just playing a game of can you outrange them as well? And then that's hard to do. Because then they'll just keep, you know, building up more range. <coughs> Excuse me. And next, you. Oh, okay, never mind. I'll just stop talking. My voice is 
She was like a shot. <laughs> oh. Oh, whoops, I never... Well, I know they're coming. Because I know these guys are going to have scanners. And I know they have scanners. Okay, so there's more scouts. Alright, so one turn left. Can't afford to do this. And then I'll have 62, which means I'll still have 60. And then this will stop working. I can use this, and this will still be able to run at two times speed. Okay, so it looks like there might be something here, or here, and they go up to intercept these forces. I'm going to put one right there, just to... And then send more forward. Send that over there. I'm not seeing anything come up from this side yet. And that's always a good thing. And it will it, it is because they're not attacking me, but because they don't know where they are, that's the bad part, I guess. Uh, let's actually send the scanner over here. And then bring the other repair units over this way. Okay, I don't like it. I don't see any of them. Because I sent a scout up and it died. Five turns left. One turn for that. Okay, I'm going to actually have you guys drive over here. Unload that. Unload that. And immediately go back up here. So it's supposed to be fighting off. Uh, if this, if this is most of their force, which I feel like I have to safely assume it is, then I'm going to have to face long range units with my tiny tank, my tiny tanks, short range tanks, because that cannon's not exactly the biggest in the world. I know they can just cross this, so I can do this, actually. I don't want to swim out to sea, because I feel like if one shoots, then the other might not be able to hit, and they can both hit one at the same time, so I don't want to lose a scout like that. So I'm going to move a tank right there, keep one with you, and then move the other scout out. Okay, green is over here, too. Alright. This back then. New constructor is available. Good. Sorry. All right. See, I still have plus one, but I'm running low on fuel actually. Okay, this could be an issue. Alright, yeah, let's do that. I'm not worried about Robins. Actually, wait. I have to upgrade. Okay, this is going to be a bit more challenging than I thought. Okay. Yeah, there's a lot of 
fuel deficit. So that means I gotta make choices here. I'm gonna move this. Let's move this out. So that might move in range here, so let's push that forward, that forward, that back just enough so if they, this has to come in range more, and then I can try to catch it out of position and hit it. That is the plan at least. I don't know. Okay, so they know I'm coming. Then again, it's AI, so they always know I'm coming. So that shot the skin? No, shot the tank. Oh my god. Okay, that's a lot. Um, all I'm hearing are notification sounds. Something is firing. Okay, they're in range. Alright. This is going to be the fun part. By fun, I mean. Alright, so let's take that one out. Can I not use any movement right there? This game still has some weird bugs. I don't want to charge, like, right at them. Because that's just going to get them killed. Because then they can just pound that one right there. So let's move back just a little. Pick a pick a couple tanks up on the way. Or on the way back. Yeah. Yeah, you do that. Alright, so I do need a ground attack plane. Probably sooner than I shouldn't have put that constructor first. Yeah. So they can rush me, they have enough damage to overpower that on that line. So I'm gonna move this over here. Try to move this. We have to have the Aider's hand line back a little. Okay, so they have a lot here. Um, this is bad. <laughs> um, It's going to be hard to try to destroy what I can, although I know I'm going to lose something here. So let's actually move this whole line up.
Okay, so almost all they have is missile crawlers. Oh, this is gonna be annoying. Alright, so yeah, I don't think air forces are gonna be a problem. Although I do need those tanks here sooner than later. I just didn't want to lose half my tank line trying to save my other line here. Alright, so that's gonna fall back. Killing your self gun thing. Move that path even further. And we'll see if this turns into a test run or not. Trying to move on the side. Okay, it looks like they've all fallen back to reinforce that front, so those tanks can now freely charge. I'm not so sure if this constructor idea is going to work as well as I thought it would. But hopefully this little push toward the side will do something. Oh boy, two turns. Well, more like three, because it's still sitting over here. How many assault guns do they have? Why does that say 52? 65. Oh boy, it just gets worse. Oh my god. 18 missile crawlers? Um. So they do have mobile anti-aircraft. So they're expecting aircraft, but I don't know if they're planning on aircraft. Because I can't really scout the base when, you know... You're getting swarmed. Alright, so we don't lose that, yeah, that power plan right there anyway. And I lose this tank, now it really matter what I do here. By that I mostly mean they just have so much that I don't understand how my six tanks are supposed to, you know, hold off the horde. Because the problem with those missile callers is they have enough range that if they even bother to challenge scouts that are coming, they can just come right in and, you know shoot him down. It's kind of like a trap. But hopefully I can relieve the air sand side. But I've got a feeling I'm going to lose the other side before uh, I can do anything with that. It feels kind of weird having a, you know, this, like some sort of policy where it's like you can't stop for anything. 
Alright, let's try to pick up these tanks and send them over, see if that does anything, because I've got a feeling it might not. With how much... screen right now that's about that's f f I, I want to say 15 assault guns I can't tell what's worse right now trying to do this or the wall actually this because at least in the wall you didn't have 15 assault guns in your face turn 8 yeah, the best I can do is just offer up units as cannon fodder and hope they don't destroy the research lab, you know, right now. Because they can do that. There's nothing stopping them from doing that. Okay, so maybe speed, actually? Oh yay, now they have tanks, too. Uh, I feel like I can't stop any of them. Oh, okay, so those tanks take forever to get there. Maybe I should have built the light vehicle plant just up here. Just to keep building ground attack points. That's probably the best solution I'm gonna get right here. Cause I'll probably lose it this turn. Alright, so I'll upload this practice run and the other one I've got stored. Um, I guess I'll give you guys tips. Um, build a ground attack plane immediately, twice the speed. Um, the northern complex has limited fuel, so you have to pick and choose what you want. So if you do decide to get a uh, constructor to make a light vehicle plant, I don't know how much use that could be. Another yeah, units plant would be better, but by the time you do that, you wouldn't have it. Uh, you wouldn't have any fuel. So maybe just avoid the constructor altogether. Maybe um, it's a possibility, but if you can make it work, that's. But definitely get the ground attack point first. Like that, that is a priority, absolutely. You need it for all those assault guns, and the missile crawlers aren't much of a problem. You can ignore them for the most part. 
until they get you know close enough to your base by about turn seven or eight but you're definitely going to be much more worried about the assault like the you know 25 assault guns that are charging your right side so let's for the north you know limited fuel um send most of your tanks down the right side and use your air transport to lift three tanks to the right side of your base instead of rather the three the scanner and the supply truck and repair you saw me doing that uh, run so that way you actually have more tanks on the front line to deal with the assault guns until your air force can get there um, for the training hall infiltrators first not infantry pretty much all the third units can outrange your infantry deal more damage and you still have to get the infantry over there to fight so as for the training hall infiltrators because you're gonna probably need if we need to disable some units and then if you have the moment steal them although that's risky enough with you know with like 80 units on the horizon so sort of like how um stuck in the middle. I referenced that mission earlier. And, because it feels like it's sort of like that mission, but harder. In a way, if you want to think about it like this. So. I guess it's about all I can think of, other than, yeah, that tank thing where you, I guess with the tanks that uh, advance from the north, if they aren't by air transport, try not to stop, because you need those tanks there almost as soon as possible. But at the same time, you don't want to obviously run your tanks into a line of you know six assault guns and have them just you know lose half your tank force. Although you might need to take that risk if you know you're running out of time. And in this mission, you will run out of time very quickly. I don't know if they make air units later. I assume that is a possibility, but in the beginning, you cannot worry about fighters. You just, with all that ground force, the air, and the fact they never really had an air presence, means you c I wouldn't worry about fighters. Your one air transport should be okay to get tanks, some of the tanks over, to, and have that air transport focus on the tanks bringing them back and forth and then using them to also you know place in front of an assault gun to shoot it and then try to withdraw the tank so you might even after your first ground attack point or two get another air transport at, at the possibility but yeah I gotta try more of these strategies out in another video see if you know you'll see a practice run part two or a second practice run on the same mission So, I think that's all I have to say about that mission. Um, I guess as always, if you, as always, if you guys have any feedback, you know, let me know through comments, messages, or whatever else. And I will see you later, hopefully, with either the uploaded campaign mission with a successful walkthrough. Or maybe even a different game. I've thought about a couple other ones that still fall within the realm of like 90s, early 90s. But, like I said, if you have any feedback about this mission, this video, or future games or whatever, just let me know in the comments and I'll look over them. And then go from there. But I'm pretty sure you guys are excited to see me do some max content after a while. So, bye guys.